Okay. Or how? How? Right. So what's your name? My name's Leslie. Leslie. Yes. How old are you? I'm 34. Where are you from originally? Bullhead City, Arizona. Bullhead City, huh? What are you doing yep. out here in Phoenix? I got stuck in jail out here for six months, and I just got out, and I'm supposed to get back to Bullhead. Okay. Do you have any family here in Phoenix? Uh, no. Your family's all in Bullhead? Uh, a few of my family is in Bullhead, yeah. Do they know that you're out here in Phoenix right now? Um, no. I wasn't able to tell anybody that I was going to jail because it was some real stupid. How long have you been out of jail? <laughs> I've been out of jail for just, I don't know how many, how long. September 9th. September? September so 9th. Maybe about two weeks now? Uh, I don't know. It's been longer than that. Who do you have back in Bullhead? Uh, some important family and just, it's a really nice town. I like it. I'm from there. Mom, dad, siblings? My parents um, and my siblings live out there, but I mean, I don't really talk to them too often, but they don't do too much. Okay. So they sure, don't know okay. what's going on with you right now? I don't know what they would be able to say about it. Okay. So I don't know. How do you survive out here? Um, I don't know what it is, but, um, oh, I just got stuck out of here, so I don't know, you know what I mean? So I don't know what I'm going to do. How do you get right money to eat? I mean, I haven't been stranded that long, dog. Yeah. yeah. I'm not stranded, I'm just pissed. Where do you usually sleep? I don't sleep too often. <laughs> I don't know. How often do you sleep? Every single night. What? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you trying to get back to Bullhead City or yeah, this is where trying. you're going to stay? No, I'm trying to get back. I'm not staying out here. Okay. Yeah, because you're in a pretty dangerous area right here. I hate being here. Like, do I can't you? believe I went to prison, dude. Like, do you know what I went to prison for? What? I was trying to, I was being arrested and I tried wiping my chin on my shoulder. And f I got spit on the cop next to me. Okay. <laughs> and on there, because they were like shoulder to shoulder with me, coincidentally. And it just turned all bad, dog. So what they get you for, assault or something? Aggravated assault on an officer. And How long did they give you? They gave me six months because they were trying to, they, I had a warrant for a piece of foil in my pocket. It was a fresh, clean piece of foil. It wasn't used. And they tried giving me, telling me I had to show up in court for it. And they, I don't know what it was for. I mean, that's not necessarily. So you got a feather to appear? I don't know. I had a warrant for it. I didn't go to court because it was so stupid. It didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Because, I mean, it wasn't a used piece of foil. I didn't have any on me. I just couldn't believe I got in trouble for it. And that was back in Bullhead City? Yeah. I just couldn't believe I got in trouble for it. They wrote me a ticket and I couldn't believe I got in trouble for it. How do you plan to get back? Um, I don't, I don't know. Do you need a phone so you can contact maybe a family member or something? <laughs> do you remember the I'm phone so numbers? spazzed out of my, I know every, all their phone numbers. I'm just so, so spazzed out of my mind that this is happening to me right now that I don't even have energy to move around and think about it because I just can't deal with it. It's not sad, it's just like, I know too much. So I just, it's just, it's like, fuck, what am I going to do with that? Yeah. yeah, I have dissociative disease. It fucking harms my psyche to associate things with things because I don't like bringing things up unless I bring them up. I'm a real quiet, private person. I just associate everything. What were you doing right now? Were you panhandling? No. No? No, definitely not. I, wouldn't, I don't think I would panhandle like that. So what do you think of some of the people that are out here? That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Sorry. There's a bunch of people out here. Why is there so many people out here? Like doing weird shit? Yeah. Running around looking weird and doing weird shit? I don't fucking know. Is it like that out there in Bullhead City? No, not at all. Never. Not even. There's not even that many people out there. Did you have a house when you were living out there or were you homeless? I mean, I, it's a real small town. Um, 
it's such a small town you'd have to see it to believe it it has a river and everything you'd well have i've to been through there I, I usually go to the colorado river i go out there a lot okay it is the nicest place in the world <laughs> like you know what i mean it is so nice it's so small you it, grew up there oh my god i mean since i was 12 yeah i've been stuck out there and i haven't moved around too much but i've always been like a straight line and i've been there so i was all right how was it like growing up out there in that small it town? was fine it was a it was lonely but i didn't really i have dissociated disease i don't hang out with people i don't bother people so i was by myself a lot but since i was 12 and i've been all out there always i've always kept my eyes open yeah yeah and it worked out real well for me so Whew, yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. It, it seems like not, but it really did. And I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, I love Bull Head City. Do you have bad I memories? Really no, I don't have any bad memories at all. I was totally fine the whole time. Yeah. Maybe I wish that I was like, oh no, I don't wish anything, dog. I was fine. I minded my business and I fucking didn't try, to, I didn't try hanging out with anybody or telling anybody about my business. I don't like people around. They change up things and they make people unhealthy. Yeah, people bring trouble. People make people unhealthy. It's horrible. Have you tried going to a shelter out here? No, hell no. No? No, they don't even have shelters in Bullhead. They like, don't. they don't need them out there. It's like what about so right here, though, in Phoenix? It is so small out there that they don't need them. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's fine. It, it, it's perfect. So what are you going to do today? Okay. Um. Yikes. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait around. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. My mind's so bad from trying to have to think about getting back home because I should already be back home. Yeah. And I already got out of jail and went back home once, and then I went back to jail because I was a parole violator. So it was so stupid. How long did it take you last time to get back home? Not long. It I mean, I got home so fast the first time that I got released that it wasn't even funny. It didn't take me very long. It was like walking distance almost, and it's not supposed to be walking distance. How'd you end up getting there, though? Like, did you get a ride from the person out here or what? I went to the, they dropped me off at the Gatertown station, the jail did. Oh, the jail. And I fucking got a ticket from. Why didn't they do that for you this time? I don't know why. They took me, oh, they picked me up to take me to New Freedom. Yeah. Some place on Peoria that's like a rehab or something, just a sober living. It's in a motel. It was pretty nice, but, and they feed you good. I mean, I can handle it when I'm there. It's just too sober for me and not like that. It's like they should be putting in the food or something at least. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they were doing wrong with the site stuff. It's like, okay, the site is not healthy enough. Um, I mean, it looks good and everything, but the site is just not healthy enough and in the long run because it's not doing too much. It's not that either, it's just not doing too much. It's trying to prevent things that i mean you gotta learn how to prevent things the right way because i mean food can prevent things after all that you know what i mean I, it really can it i mean but it's just it's, yeah it's just horrible it was just horrible for them not to take those fucking measures right, i didn't well. even think those measures would be hard for them thank you for sharing your story i appreciate it if one yeah. of your loved ones gets to see this interview, oh, do you I want don't know. to send out any message or anything like that? No, I don't need to send a message. It's just I don't... You want to tell just, them anything? What am I supposed to tell them, dude? I got myself in trouble, and it was a six-month period for something so stupid. Like, I swallowed a pill and shit, and I just trolled on a cot because I didn't feel like it. I mean, I can't even believe that happened. And I think I healed them upside because nobody ever was close to me for me to lick on them. It was some like f troll. Like I couldn't believe I did that to an officer, <laughs> a girl officer. 
I just was like fine with it, but she, but she's, but I got charged with it. Bullshit. That was such Like that bitch needed that. And I don't know how. If anybody's trying to help you out, um, do you have any contact happened. information I that just was you want to share, like an email? Yeah. You good? What is it? I like being arrested sometimes. What is it? If any, if anybody has any help for you, like a ticket back home. Do you have an email that you want to share? No, I know how to get a ticket back home. I already, I just got to get to the Gray Island Station because they didn't take me there this time. And they should have. I asked them at last minute. You want to go? Yeah. You want to go get dropped off at the Station? I do want to get yeah. dropped off at the Gray Island Station. I'm so pissed. Are you excited to go back home? Yeah. That's good. Let's go get the ticket. There you go. Thank you. Door number three. Mm -hmm. So your bus will be right there. It says 850 on there. So in about an hour. Maybe you could grab a seat. You want to grab a seat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right here. Right there. All right. Well, you have a good trip. Okay, so wait. It was when nice meeting you. When is it? Uh, at 8.50. 8.50? Today. Today. You have around 50 minutes to wait. What time is it? Eight. It's eight. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know what time it was. Oh, I have to be forced and everything. It's less than an hour. It's not that bad. But at least you'll be home today. Oh, yeah. All right, you take care. see hopefully she doesn't walk out all right thank you appreciate you hopefully she doesn't walk out and doesn't use that ticket because sometimes you want to do like go the extra mile for these people but you don't know how mentally stable they are so if you go out there like I did right now you come all the way out here. I think it was like 31 minutes away. You come 31 minutes away, you buy the ticket, the ticket's 50 bucks, and then they end up walking out of this place and you wasted all that time and money for nothing. So I hope she does the right thing. All right, guys. See you guys on the next video.